Hey gang, how's it going? Matt, the Home Inspector here with a review. Well, we got a new tool, um, and it's something that we're going to use probably uh, the majority of the time we're going to use it at North Cap. So this is a, uh, a backpack sprayer, okay? Usually when you buy a backpack sprayer, you got that pump, you got to keep pumping it, and you keep spraying, and it's just a lot of work, you know, especially when you have large areas like we do up north where we need to um, keep the weeds and things like that out of our gravel driveways and our gravel walkways and things like that up the cabin. So we got a backpack spray and because I'm lazy, I went with a battery powered backpack spray because I don't need the workout. Well, I need the workout, but I don't want the workout. So we got a battery operated instead of the pump. So um, and the one that we went with, which there's other options out there, we went with the Milwaukee. I am a little preferential to Milwaukee for some reason, not sure why. But for this reason, the main reason that is that um, all of our batteries that we have for all of our drills and everything else really are the M18, M12 battery type stuff. So um, sticking with the Milwaukee platform is just really the way to go. And this is one of the new products Milwaukee came out with to help uh, you around the yard and stuff. Kind of cool, we're gonna open it up today. We're gonna take a look at what it looks like. We're gonna operate it a little bit and kind of show you how we're using it. Um, and then we'll come back a little bit later and do a uh, kind of follow up. Hey, how did we like it? How did it operate? What could we have done better um, as far as its operation goes? So let's open this bad boy up. So product number, if you're looking for a product number is 2820-20PS, 2820-20PS. And it is the Milwaukee M18 powered backpack sprayer. So meant for spraying in, uh, insecticides and pesticides and, um, you know, weed killer, all that kind of stuff. Um, it does come with like interchangeable tanks and stuff like that. We only got one tank because we're only using it for one thing and that's killing the weeds and stuff like that. The first thing on top is your directions. As always, um, Milwaukee always puts a really complicated direction packet together, which I don't know that anybody actually really reads unless they need something out of it, but that is there. It's right the first thing that's up on top here. And then there's a lot of cardboard. So let's uh, get into this. Oh, their advertisement where they sell all the different tools and stuff, of course. Looks like just a cardboard spacer of sorts. Yeah, there's nothing in, so that's fire pit bound. Um, the thing on top here is, well, looks like it's all kind of pre-assembled. So this is the sprayer. And then just basically lift this guy out of here. And we got this guy. Um, let's see, oh, and the wand is in here as well. So let me do this. I'm gonna put this up here so that I can get this a little bit higher so y'all can see what we're looking at. Well, that's not a very sturdy box portion. Let's go right there. All right, um, so on the unit, um, these tanks, you can take them off and you can interchange them. So you can take that off, put a different type of tank on, just so you don't have cross contamination. If you're trying to do like a, a fertilizer for your flower bed or something, you don't want it in the same canister that you had the Roundup in because you're gonna have cross contamination and you're gonna have some Roundup getting your fertilizer and you could end up killing all your plants, which would be really bad given all the work that it takes to do that kind of stuff. Um, so the tanks will be taken off. Um, let's see how that works. So I think it's just this lever here and not real clear. I'm probably gonna have to, gosh darn it, I'll have to read the directions, aka watch a YouTube video. <laughs> but ultimately, let's see, let's put down a little bit better angle. Uh, oh, there's a clip on the back. All right, so there's there's two clips. There's one in the back and one on the front. Both are the same clip. So clip like that. And then there's a clip right on the back here, right behind the backpack portion. And then this just lifts off. So uh, you can switch it out. Um, you know, obviously you don't want cross contamination in either the tank nor the hose. Um, so that's cool. And then you run rinse off the uh, spray port here or the, the power port of that. Um, but uh, there shouldn't really be much mixture in there. I think this just uh, spins around and produces the power of the suction. So, uh, but this guy goes on just as easy as it came up. So right on there, there's a lock, uh, a clamp on the back, clamp on the front. And then this cat is ready to go. Um, this, I believe, is your uh, battery compartment. So that's where your M18 battery is going to go. And this is a small M18 battery, but you know it's all just going to provide that 18 volts. And you just slide that in there. 
close that compartment up. This wand, this wand is gonna go on the sprayer handle, which is this guy. Assistant, assistant, do I hear an assistant? Hello, assistant? Can I borrow you for a minute, assistant? You're not camera ready? We're up at the cabin, I think they'll forgive you. Just hold the back of this, it doesn't fall over. <laughs> She's just gonna put Sorry. her hands in there. <laughs> You're ready to do work. <laughs> All right, so this is, yeah, we're in the process, we got that uh, other property that we're gonna be um, kind of trying to get rid of a bunch of the weeds that are in the new gravel and stuff so that they don't take over and spread. So that's your handle, kind of cool. So you have your, your sprayer. It also has a lockout feature up here as well, which that'll take a little bit of extra. Oh, okay, so lock on is up and then clamp it down. Kind of stiff to operate, but um, this guy is gonna go on here. We'll see if this leaks at all. If this leaks at all, I'm gonna put some uh, Teflon tape on there just to really secure that. There is a rubber washer in that rubber O-ring. It should work. And then this guy goes on here. That's kind of how it's set up. Obviously you pull the, the trigger here to spray. Um, and actually, yeah, this button here locks too. So, um, so by pulling the handle, pushing the button, it locks the handle in spray mode. So it'll keep spraying. You pull the handle a little bit and it releases it. So uh, less hand fatigue while you're operating, especially if you're doing a large area. And then this nozzle here is going to adjust um, your spray. So if you want a real fine spray, um, like a real stream, you're gonna let it weigh out. Um, if you want a real uh, fine mist, you're gonna probably crank it way down. We'll find out when we start using it. Uh, we put the backpack sprayer on in here to kind of take a look at what this looks like. Um, ultimately uh, comfortable. Yeah, very comfortable. It's got basically the two harnesses over the top and then it's got a belt strap on it as well. Um, all fully adjustable. And then um, the tank here, this is your fill spot, so you would fill it up up here, but remember you can take this tank off and, and put a different material on there, whatever you may, may want to spray. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, it rides relatively reasonably on the back. It's nothing that's too crazy loose. There's a place on the side here where you can store the sprayer and the handle and stuff. Um, turn around here, Pete. So you see it's got this big belt across the middle and then it's also got the chest strap to help hold it in place if you're walking around a lot with this thing. And then the sprayer uh, is, you know, nice and long in comparison, you know, to uh, some other sprayers and stuff. So you'll be able to get right down by the weeds and stuff like that to spray them. So looks good. All right, let's go spray. Fine spray, you want more of a mist? Yeah. Oh, so we swapped out that metal piece for a sprayer. Go ahead and spray, Pete. Much wider spray, just hold it there. No, no, just hold it. Hold it so I can get can. You see it's got a much wider spray pattern. Um, lock better for covering distances. All right, go ahead and spray a little bit, Pete. This is our fire pit for up at the cabin. We're just uh, spraying. Usually when you spray, you walk backwards so you don't step on the roundup you'll track it wherever you go. That's how it works. All right, gangs, we're back here. Having uh, owned the Milwaukee Backpack Sprayer. It's a four-gallon sprayer. We owned it for quite a little bit now. We've uh, used it quite a bit. Um, and uh, a couple of things to say about it. Um, you know, the, the sprayer worked as as sold. So it worked great. There's no pumping. There's none of that. The the battery, we put a 5-amp-hour battery in it, and it, we, we never had to change it um, in a month of use. Um, so that's really good. We did use it quite a bit. We probably filled the tank three times in the time that we were using it. Um, and we were just spraying weeds. We we're just spraying weeds up at the property, um, in the uh, driveway around the house, deck, all that kind of stuff. And, uh, it worked great for that. We did not switch out the tank at all because we were only use it for spraying weeds, but the tank is switchable. Handle was really comfortable. Um, the spray nozzle, we didn't end up switching the spray nozzle out. If I get it off of here, Ugh. We did end up switching the spray nozzle and going with the uh, the the plastic one instead of the brass one. The brass one, it was uh, it was really what I what I had anticipated. It was just a a really 
straight stream, very uh, uh, refined stream, just to just to spot spray things. So if you're just looking to get that one weed in your flower bed, that kind of stuff, that brass um, uh, nozzle at the end worked great. However, this um, plastic one that's on there has a nice broad spray to it, um, which covers more area and stuff. Um, but uh, that plastic one worked great um, and uh, worked repeatedly after having sat for a while. It didn't get clogged up or anything like that. Usually when you're done using that stuff, you wash it out with water and it'll clean it off a little bit, make sure it doesn't get clogged up on you. Um, the backpack portion, very comfortable to wear. The, the belt portion of that backpack, so this... This belt that goes around your waist over here, this actually worked really well for, um, you know, maintaining the contact between the sprayer and your back. So it wasn't this big gap. It wasn't sloshing and moving around all the time. Um, and that worked really well. The padding on the arms could use a little bit. The shoulders could be a little bit more padded. Um, really not much padding at all there. And, I mean, I used to work for a landscape company, so I was like the, the, uh, the low guy on the totem pole when I worked there. So I was string trimming and weed spraying. And even those ones that they had, they had little shoulder straps like you would have on, like, a backpack a little bit of padding and stuff on them which worked really well um and it was comfortable but yeah the the, the milwaukee uh shoulder straps not as comfortable um but uh, holding it on and and maintaining contact with your back and not slashing and moving around really worked out well it was uh, nice and stable and uh, you really probably wouldn't get a very sore back or anything from using it over a long period of time it was a, a way to carry a lot of weight um, comfortably. Now, um, as far as the weight issue does go, it is rather heavy. After you have filled this with four gallons of, of uh, water and, and pesticide, um, or uh, herbicide like we were using, um, then you put your battery, your five amp hour battery in there, and you got this big housing at the bottom. So when you have your normal pump sprayer, it's basically just the tank and this little mechanical mechanism with an arm on it, okay? a little bit lighter than this guy. Um, however, the not having to pump all the time and that kind of stuff really um, it made it uh, much easier. Now, the hose is nice and long, so there was no restriction as far as how how uh, uh, you use the sprayer at all. Um, the nozzle arm is, is longer than most of you get, so that worked really good as well. Um, and then the tank, really easy to fill and, and carry around and stuff. Um, the only real, there's two downsides that I found to it. One, the shoulder straps aren't very padded and uh, they, you know, I would imagine, um, you know, having a little bit of padding on there would make it a little bit easier to carry that much weight. Um, and then the other thing was it does get rather heavy once you put the battery in and all that other kinds of stuff and you fill it with four gallons of uh, liquid. Um, but uh, other than that, it, it checked all the boxes, you know, so there's those two downsides, but otherwise great product. Um, and uh, as always, Milwaukee uh, knocked it out of the park. I know that they, they're just getting into the lawnmowers and landscapes equipment and things like that, but, um, you know, this is a, a device that I would uh, recommend to anybody that does any kind of weed spraying. Um, if you have any gravel driveways, you do weed spraying on a regular basis. Um, if you only do it once in a while, go get a little you know, canister with that pump handle on it and, you know, that's a cheaper way. Um, but this guy at Home Depot is going to start around $2.99. Um, that's just for the tool. So you don't have any other Milwaukee tool stuff at all. Um, if you want to get the battery and um, uh, charger included with it, then you get into the $400 range. These batteries, they'll charge anywhere from 100, 100 bucks to uh, 200 bucks, depending on the size of the M18 battery. Um, when you're going with this... You can use any of the M18 batteries as long as it's an 18 volt battery um, and uh, will work just fine in here. But getting that little bit larger one means you don't have to charge it as frequently and you're not going to be stopping in the middle of what you're doing to change your battery and stuff. It's going to last longer and perform better. Great product. I love it. Milwaukee, we need some more stuff as quality as this. Um, but if you have any questions uh, about the product or have any insight into uh um, it's you, sir. If you maybe you've been using it professionally for a long time or whatever, and have something to comment about it, please drop that down in the comments below. Otherwise, uh, thanks for tuning in today, you guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get made aware when we're dropping new videos. All right, thank you very much for tuning in. Remember, the better you take care of your house, the better it's going to take care of you.